Hello everyone, Jennifer from Sun Dragon Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today and um, keeping me company while I craft and try to do these little uh, clusters. Um, I am using these words are from uh, Ruby and Pearl. Uh, Heather may, does a beautiful job with her beautiful digitals. I'll go ahead and link um, this kit. This is her, uh, I think it's beautiful words. And then this, um, this here is from Amity Bloom. And um, I can also link uh, that kit as well. I can't, I forgot what the name of the kit was, but so this is my second time uh, videotaping this. Um, the first time I thought I was videotaping and apparently I was just only taking a picture. It was just stuck on taking a picture. And here I did like a 20 minute video on uh, doing these clusters. And um, anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, the technical difficulties is usually the operator's fault. So in, in that case, it totally was me. So what I usually do with these class when I, with these clusters, it's uh, I need I need more ephemera or some dec uh, things to decorate my journal with, and uh, so I need uh, to make these clusters. And what my process usually is is that I just find a bunch of scraps like this, um, or I make scraps if I want pretty papers. Um, sometimes I don't have enough of leftovers of a lot of these pretty scraps so I'll have to you know tear up tear them up myself um this is cheesecloth here oh by the way thank you so much new subscribers I am up at I think 90 subscribers which is like I know it doesn't sound like a lot but to me it's it's huge because I would never have thought that I would have any subscribers, let alone 90. And um, I'm just so happy. And I've got, um, uh, is it Doreen? Doreen from Ooh La La Treasures. Uh, let me check. I just, before I misspeak, um, I want to make sure I do have her name right. And... Um, I am just, yes, I had it right. Doreen from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I'll go ahead and also, she's got a fantastic store. I just went and um, went to her store. She's got um, uh, great, great digitals in there. And uh, definitely check it out. I will put a link to her Etsy shop. I uh, love supporting other uh, small businesses and love supporting um, even um, businesses that are doing well, especially when it pertains to paper crafting. Love a fellow paper crafter. So what I do is um, like these are handmade papers here. This is mulberry paper um, I got at um, Amazon. This is braille paper I got at uh, Amazon as well. And I like to have, you know, just different textures. And lace and all that good stuff. And then I typically like to have a shape that's like this, where there's like a tail at the end. And it just gives it, I think it's, they're easier to work with. Um, especially when you're layering on top of each other. It just kind of flows better to me. But you know, that's that could be just me. See, like there's a tail there. Maybe something like that. I'm trying to make these small. And for some reason, I'm struggling. Because I have, I've been making smaller journals. And, um... I can't seem to get get it small enough. They keep coming out big. 
and um, it's annoying. And I think what it's because you know, I when I when I do these things, I do them organically. I try not to think too much about it because then I'll be forever trying to make it perfect and I wouldn't be able to get things done and I find too that it, it looks better when it comes out organically anyway it just doesn't it flows better it looks more natural it doesn't look forced or um, well, manufactured I guess see hello beautiful perfect these are great for um oh on top of a journal like a, a journal cover um as a label on the front of a journal cover or on a page as on the front page of a signature um i also use them because i am a, a, a card maker and i still make cards and that's my original craft was card making and that's where my name sun dragon cards come from and um i use these on cards too my greeting cards so anyway how's everyone doing hopefully everyone is having a good week we are almost there it is thursday right now and tomorrow is friday um, my husband and I are, it's going to be a busy uh, weekend for us. We, um, we are involved with, uh, we do this every year. It's a Easter basket run. <clears throat> uh, what we do is we go with a group of motorcyclists and um, we build um, uh, Easter baskets. We get them all together and then on Easter... Um, or uh, the day before Easter, uh, we um, bring those Easter back baskets to um, uh, foster kids. And these foster kids are just, they're so, I mean, they range from age, um, age three to 14. And it's just just to see their faces light up and pick baskets and it's just just a neat fun thing uh, so what i think i'm gonna do so what i do is i go ahead and i sew sometimes i sew sometimes i don't but i'll sew the fabric and the paper together and then i glue that on top now a lot of times i'll use um, thread that is the same color as the um, paper or fabric and a lot of and sometimes I use you know honestly what I use is just whatever's in my sewing machine at the time because sometimes I'm just too lazy to change out the thread there that's the truth that's the truth of it right there and I will go ahead, what I'll do is I'll just put them together like this first and then I'll sew later because you guys don't need to see me sew. It's kind of boring. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, maybe something like this here. <laughs> Yeah, I am just like so disappointed that here I am. I thought I was done videotaping and everything. And I go to try to upload it or edit it. And it's like just a, it's just a photo. I was so bummed. Okay, guys. You know, I, I don't know what it is lately, but it's like I just seem to be struggling. I struggle. 
with my creativity and um, I apologize but I think you know just like what Doreen said from Ulala Treasures just playing with the papers sometimes will um, will help with that creative block and I believe it to be true And, you know, paper, I just love it. So um, there's nothing wrong with playing with papers. I love how pretty this lace is. I don't want to cover that up. So I just want to do that maybe. Uh, do, huh. This is like wonky wonky stuff oh this is that this is not the cheesecloth this is that um i bought that at a this at a yard sale and it's um the fake uh it's a halloween thing it's the fake um spider web and um so i thought Oh, what fun fabric! What what fun texture to put into junk journaling, and it is it is a fun texture. It's just kind of string, really really stringy, so you have to kind of play with it and um, shape it in the way you want. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, one more. And then um, we'll end it. But I'm excited to have some new subscribers. I'm excited to have, um, I'm up at 90, guys. Isn't that awesome? I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's, it is to me. <laughs> I have I would never guess that I would have any subscribers, so I'm just so excited to have people, you know, that we have a commonality and that you find something interesting that I'm doing and, and that that I mean it just I don't know for some of you that probably already do videos or and have an Etsy shop or whatever I um I would never guess how much fun this is and I would never think that in a million year, years that I would do something like this on YouTube or anything like that um nothing like this anyway so um how's that maybe like that i need something here huh uh i need some texture right there oh i know some different lace like this so i made these a neutral color because um, that way, when I have a journal that I am working on and it's not um, a neutral or, or if I want some color on it, all I have to do really is just do something like this. I have to do is like maybe cut a piece of this and then just tuck it back there and glue it back there or glue it back here um, it's not that it wouldn't be hard wouldn't be hard at all to add just a little bit color so like for instance if I say that zone oh here let me show you this example so let's just say so this is sewn 
I would just cut a piece of this and then add color like that. You know, you get, I think you get the picture, hopefully. Um, so there, it's very versatile that way. And um, I think they're fun and they really add to a blank page. So for instance, I'm having a, I'm struggling with that uh, file folder journal. And I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with the cover. I'm gonna do something totally different than what I have said in the other videos, um, but I think it will work and I think I'm gonna like it too. Um, but this thing, I made one over here, see? It can make a, a plain page. Make a plain page. Are you, am I, am I on screen? Yeah. Can make a plain page like this, look like that. And I, what I'm gonna do is just glue the ends right here and then just make it a belly band. Cute, huh? I think so. I think it's cute. So anyway, I hope that everyone has a great day and um, please like uh, and subscribe and um, make a comment uh, just so that uh, I know that that um, that I'm doing things okay, that you have some interest and I appreciate you so much. I hope that you all have a fantastic day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.